Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? So I'm super excited for this video. I was not planning on filming it today because I did not expect for it, this package to show up on my doorstep this afternoon. I thought it was gonna come next week, but showed up today, I opened it up, I took one look and I was like, <gasps> I have to film right away. I'm so excited. So this is the new Lisa Eldridge Velvet Lipsticks. She did originally release a set of three velvets and they were all like red, really beautiful red shades. I think there was like a kind of like a burgundy type red, a really bright true kind of blue based red, and then an orangey red. And they all looked really beautiful and that was about a year ago and I was like, that's that's amazing. That's so beautiful. When I think of red lipstick, I think of Lisa Eldridge because I still remember watching her videos when I was younger and like her talking about the aesthetic of like red lipstick being so beautiful when it's worn so casually, like just like a mom out grocery shopping and wearing a red lipstick. And I've always kind of, I don't know, I relate red lipsticks to her. So I thought it was really cool, but I just don't wear bullet red lipsticks all that often. So I passed on the release and then she came out with a set of pink lipsticks and there was four different shades but one of them the one that I would have wore didn't pass like her standards and she decided not to release it until it was perfect and the other three were just pretty bright pinks and not the type of shades that I necessarily reach for all that often and not enough to justify paying for a high-end lipstick unless it's something I know I would wear a lot but when she revealed the velvets for this year which I believe that they only get released once a year I was like, okay, that's it. It's it's my time to try Lisa Eldridge. So this was my brand to try for the month of November and I'm so excited. So again, it was a little bit of a bougie moment. These lipsticks retail for, I believe, 26 pounds each. And then if you get them in a set of three, they are 75 pounds. So you're saving like, I don't know, maybe like $5 by getting the set. And you do get the pouch as well, which has its own retail value. But the pouch is just kind of like a cute add-on to me. So here is what it comes. It's like all like this. And then you open it up and it says Lisa Eldridge. It says, my shipping boxes and tissue papers are recyclable. Please recycle them. I love how that said basically twice. And then here it just says, I can't wait to see your Lisa Eldridge makeup photos. Please tag me on Instagram, love Lisa. And I did tag her when I got this like an hour ago and she immediately replied to my message with a heart, which was really cute. And mm, I'm, I'm not fangirling at all. It's fine. It's fine. I'm totally fine. She's, it's fine. And then we have the star of today's video, which would be the lipsticks. So definitely will be recycling that as requested. The pouch actually feels really, really nice. It's velvet. It has Lisa Eldridge's little logo here. It's also on the zipper and it feels pretty luxurious. I mean, I only bought the set because I wanted all three lipsticks, but it is a nice little add-on and maybe I actually will go ahead and throw this in my purse and use it to keep my lipsticks together because I always have like 12 lipsticks in my purse and they're always just scattered about and then I'm like digging through everything like Mary Poppins style trying to find the one lipstick that I want. All right, so here are the three lipsticks. The set that I personally got is the Soft Velvet Collection, and it comes with Velvet Beauty, Muse, and Fawn. Um, this is sold out, and so are Velvet Beauty and Velvet Muse. I believe Velvet Fawn is the only one of the three shades that I have that is still available. So these are the three lightest shades in the entire Velvet Collection, and they are 100% cruelty-free, of course, or else I wouldn't have bought them. So here is the cardboard packaging. Just very sleek. It does say that they're made in Italy and they have a net weight of 3.5 grams. So there's what it looks like. It's just a really nice gold, simple kind of packaging. It's it's just it's simple, but it's it's like very classic, I would say. And then it has the Lisa Eldridge logo there. So it is magnetic, and if you get it so far, it'll just snap. Oh wow. For anyone who's not familiar with these lipsticks, they are supposed to actually look like velvet and they do have a really, really interesting texture to them. Very cool. There is Velvet Fawn. feel awful swatching this and ruining how beautiful it is, but it's fine. So that's what Velvet Fawn looks like. It looks like a really, really nice shade. I think that was the one I was most excited about. And it is described as a pretty and delicate fawn shade. 
I don't really know what fawn means. So here's your fun fact of the day. Fawn is a light yellowish tan color. It is usually used in reference to clothing, soft furnishings, and bedding, as well as to a dog's coat color. It occurs in varying shades ranging between pale tan to pale fawn to dark deer red. The first recorded use of fawn as a color name in English was in 1789. So I don't really know if that answered my question, but that is fawn, velvet fawn. So here is Velvet Muse. So let me just go ahead and swatch that one. Definitely has a little bit more pink to it. Looks really pretty. So Velvet Muse is described as a sensual, smoky redwood shade. Don't know if I know what that means either. So here is Velvet Beauty. I feel like my camera is playing tricks with the color because it keeps, see, it gets deeper, and then if I pull my hand back, you can see the true color a little bit more. So here's Velvet Beauty. Oh yeah, that's definitely more of a pink. And that one is described as a vibrant light pink berry shade, which I guess I can kind of see a little bit of kind of a blue undertone in there. Kind of reminds me of a shade from MAC, Oh gosh, it's so far back in my brain, I can't, I can't think. Maybe it starts with a C. So there are the swatches, now let's go ahead and try them on. I did have some lip balm on, I've just been using a sample that I have from Laneige, the lip sleeping mask, but I'm gonna wipe that off, wipe these swatches off, and then we can try out all three shades and see if I like them, hopefully I do, or else I'm gonna regret everything. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go ahead and start off with Velvet Fawn just because I think that's the color I'm most excited about. That's the one I could see myself wearing the most just from first impression. Okay, so definitely pretty impressed right off the bat. I feel like that was the easiest lipstick application I've ever done in my life. The bullet, I mean, I know it is a fresh bullet, so that helps, but it was just super easy to get right on the lines of my lips. And I feel like it's creamy, like it feels so comfortable, but it looks mostly matte, but it doesn't look drying at all. I love the way that this looks on the lips. And it kind of, something about the undertone reminds me just the tiniest bit of Lix, or Lix, of NYX London, which is kind of similar to this, but a little bit more orangey. And it's kind of like that same kind of matte vibe. Like as soon as I started applying this, I was thinking Hannah Louise Poston would probably really love this lipstick because it is just that really nice matte formula, but it does not look drying at all, which is definitely what I need because I have drier lips and... I really like the color. I really like it a lot. Okay, so Velvet Fawn for me, definitely a home run. I really, really like the way that it looks. Kinda don't wanna take it off. <laughs> All right, now let's go ahead and do Velvet Muse. Okay, so again, I really like the way the formula feels. It is such a nice finish. If you love matte lipsticks, but you hate that dry feeling, it's really, really comfortable and very flattering on the lips. It's not like sinking into the lines. It doesn't look drying. It doesn't look cracky. It just looks very like, I don't know. I don't want to say, I want to say plump as in like healthy, but not plump as in like plumping. Uh, so I think that the shade of this is actually really beautiful and Lisa talked about in her video how she likes to kind of manipulate the undertones and play with them and just make shades that really just have just a little something different to them and I feel like I can see that with this because it is, it's somewhere, it's... <laughs> 
it is more of a neutral and it's kind of that pinky undertone and it's muted but it also has this vibrancy to it and I feel like especially like right now the makeup that I'm wearing it just livens up the face and it just looks so so beautiful I really like it even though this isn't like the typical shade that I 100% run for every time I think that I probably would be more likely to pick this up just because I really like like I feel like it's very flattering and it just looks really really pretty it's a nice smoky pink maybe is what I would call it I, I don't know but I do really like it and I think it's very pretty very comfortable I'm sure actually that's like super minimal transfer that's actually pretty dang good I was I'm surprised for a bullet lipstick that's like nothing wow all right, last but not least is Velvet Beauty. This is probably the one I'm most nervous about just because I don't wear a ton of pinks, but it looks really beautiful. It looks like it has a nice undertone. So I'm going to try it, obviously. I bought it. It'd be silly to buy it and not try it. Alright, so this lipstick's kind of interesting because as I was applying it and I'm looking in my mirror and I'm applying it up close because my mirror is super zoomed in, I was kind of like, okay, wow, that's, that's, that's real pink for me. But then turning it around and like seeing the full picture and seeing the lipstick, I actually do like it. I think it's really pretty. The lipstick that I was thinking of from MAC is Myrrh. That's the shade it was kind of reminding me of. But I think that this has a little bit more vibrancy than Myrrh. Um, I never owned Myrrh, but I was just, I used to be like obsessed with MAC and like I would watch lip swatch videos all day of MAC lipsticks. But I do think it's pretty and I think it's a nice lipstick to have. Um, I have been gravitating to pink more when I do more cool toned looks. So I'm excited about it. I think that it is nice and it's definitely unique I don't have anything else like this in my collection probably because I don't buy pinks that often but again it just looks very very healthy on the lips feels very comfortable which is even more surprising because I just put on two other lipsticks and took them off so it still feels and looks really really nice and so I always do this disclaimer this is just a first impression not a review I have to test these out for a long period of time before I can give my official thoughts on them or anything but just from trying them out today they do feel really high quality I really like the packaging I like the finish I like that it feels very special and that they, these will only launch once a year and it's not going to be lipsticks pumped out constantly on the other hand that can be kind of hard if you are not ready for that initial launch and the shape that you want sells out so I do feel for that but at the same time like I said it makes it feel like oh yeah I can splurge on a bougie lipstick once a year like that's fine but it's not constantly um so I am really really excited about it excited to see more of what Lisa comes out with these have such a nice finish they feel so comfortable so nice the fact like the fact that there's barely any transfer and this is a bullet lipstick like I'm obsessed because that's the major reason why I don't wear bullet lipsticks that often and I wear more liquid lipsticks is because I just don't like transfer. I think it's so annoying. I might be a little biased when I say this, but I have the cutest toddler ever and he needs his cheeks kissed, he needs his boo-boos kissed, so I can't be having a ton of transfers, so I really appreciate that about these and I'm so excited to use them going forward. I would love to know if you've tried any of Lisa's lipsticks and what you thought of them, if you would ever pay that much for a lipstick because, again... I don't know what was it, what I had a little moment, a little moment, but it's fine. I'm super, super happy with them. My favorite shade is definitely Velvet Fawn, though. Like, Velvet Fawn, I'm in it with this lipstick. Like, I really, really love this color. So that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.